Hey everybody, the rookie here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Are Just picking up where we left off last time. Who is that guy? Ooh, that's a vampire count. Bretonia hasn't been doing their job, I guess. Like I can engage them with this army, so I'll do that in a second. Just gonna move everything else first. Uh, we got lucky. I did end the turn after last episode, and... Oh, we didn't get lucky. The Empire saved our butts, Onward. thank God. We're going to move this guy. Back down. So, we're going to stay in range of Talbotheim. Looks like they did manage to defeat Prince Sigvald the Magnificent. Thank you, Empire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my bacon. And we also, in between episodes, got one of our thanes back. Forwards. Two more turns, and then they run out of supplies, so I think that's what they're waiting for. They just don't want to fight the full, uh, full force garrison. Full strength garrison. Keep moving those guys up. They can get kind of right to that border. My axe thirsts for war by the grudge bearer's will. We're going to move our army right about there. Keep us out of range so I can switch stances and then go in. Black Craig. Might as well build that. Just about all my money, but it was worth it. Move our Thane north to try and start that last quest. That army's safe and secure. This army, I think all I got to do left, or left to do, pardon me. Speaking is hard. Left to do is try and fight this off. They are taking attrition damage, but we're trying to hunt down the uh, Everwatcher. He's only got himself left. He is weak as hell. And we don't want to let him get away. It just so happens that undead forces... Oh, we're declaring war on the undead. We don't need to call our allies in. Father. So there we go. We are going to fight this one out because I haven't seen um, uh, these bolt throwers in action yet. So we're going to go ahead and fight this out so I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, welcome to the battlefield. So, did my deployment off screen. So with uh, the fact that they have a lot of cavalry in mind, I did keep my front line small, and I got some uh, infantry units guarding the flanks. I'm just going to actually reposition them. Whoops, not that way, this way. A little bit. Like that. So now if they try and flank, I can at least intercept them with uh, one unit. Entire army is on guard mode, and I'm going to do that except for my lord. Target. And we're going to go ahead and shoot that guy. Ooh. I've never actually seen the uh, the bolt throwers in action before, so it's kind of nice to see. But before I can ooh and awe at what they're doing... I did notice one issue with my deployment. Yeah, that's why I wanted to move my corlers around. So 
So we're trying to knock their knights down with uh, our uh, ranged units first. Gunners, where are you going to shoot? Don't really have any targets that you can hit. Well, it's going pretty good so far. Didn't expect much else. It's a fairly small chaos force. It was just the cavalry that can be a pain in the butt, such as that. So we're breaking that unit. That's good. For the ancestors! For the ancestor gods! Long bridge! There we go. And he's dead. Pretty simple battle, but I wanted to see those bolt throwers in action. Quite a bit. The friggin' cavalry did their work. So there we go, battle is done. Undead scum have been brought to justice. And we can continue to chase that Chaos Lord probably to the ends of the earth, man. Until somebody intercepts him, because I don't think we're gonna have the speed to do it. Vengeful Rudlock getting out of here. So we stop the enemy lord, which is nice. Those guys trying to recover losses. These guys are still moving up. So is my Thane. Hopefully, come on. Come on, Carrick Norn. Or Carrick Kadrin, sorry, Carrick Norn's on the other side. Finish your siege. And I can confederate with you. Good. Grimnir's axe. So now we're going to go into this battle. I agree. He's full up on units, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and fight Thogrim's uh, quest battle for the axe of Grim Grimnir. Very well. Uh, apparently, no, I'm not allowed to fight do for the Axe of Grimnir. And I'd. That's a little weird. For the Karazhan Corps. Aye, it will better our cause. Alright, apparently we gotta wait another turn. Weird. Time. That guy's gonna wait. We have that guy in position to go help out uh, this settlement against the Savage Orcs. Go 
ahead and build that in Grand Peaks. Upgrade all of those. And end our turn for now. Favor, and I will check with the Damas Crom that you are worthy. No military alliance for you. So yeah, trying to move my Thane through this area, he got assassinated again. And not in time, because the Vampire Counts have been eliminated as a faction. Damn it! Annoying, but whatever. At least they're done now. Good job, Karakadrin. Day late and a dollar short, but you got it done. Move that guy up. Was worth a shot. <laughs> We're going to keep this guy around this building, or sorry, not this building, this settlement for a while. Trying to heal his losses. Iron weld. I'll cast the roots. Hi, boy. On what? You're not going anywhere. So we have him trapped now. He's either got to fight my the nation calls. allies' army or myself. Hopefully I can intercept him in the underway and hit him with a cannonball. The jerk. By Gragni, this had better be good. Apparently we're gonna go this way. I'm trying to pull this guy up over into this area. Uncover more of what's going on. Moving that guy down. Now this thing annoying me. The High King now you're actually going to let me fight the battle now that I've taken attrition damage. Apparently. Again, annoying. Alright, I'll be back once I'm on the battlefield. The stone fruits of the engineers' guild's labor. New flying gyro machines will take to the air. Let me assure my traditionalist brethren within the guild that Morgrim himself would be pleased with this innovation. Now, let us test them against the eternal enemy, the ones who have more entries in the great book of grudges than any other, the orcs. See how the green skin filth flock round that vile pillar. Let us wipe them out. So confident am I in these new machines that I forsake my axe and will not take it up again until victory is secured here. I do this in the knowledge that those orcs will soon be corpses scattering the battlefield. Let us be about this. Alright, so there we go. Rousing speech from our general and king. We do have a nice little setup here, kind of on this hill. So that'll be good. Iron breakers. Set up our iron breaker front line down here. For the ancestor gods. Uh, maybe not spread them out that much, but right there is good. Iron breakers. 
Oh, went the wrong way. Cannon! Kill X! It is a reckoning! Dally Maxman! Quarrelers! Missiles ready! Quarrelers! That guy over here. We were fighting a lot more. You look at that uh, pre-battle loading screen. They got a lot of reinforcements coming in, and I'm afraid one of them's going to come from behind. So what I am going to do is keep these guys facing right sideways so they can quickly swing up. And same with these guys, they can quickly swing up and protect my artillery if they have to. Speaking of artillery, I kind of got those two far back in the bushes for my liking, right there. Fire on the How does that look? That's better. Move these guys down the hill just a smoogin more. No, I don't want the cannon. That's better. And then Thulgrim himself, of course. And our engineer. Who we place right in the middle of all of our artillery. There is no greater authority. You guys don't fire at will. Alright, we're ready to start the battle. So, yep. There's the reinforcements. There's their wolf riders. Let the vengeance begin. Launch now. Range far. Range fast. Cannon. Rachel. Iron breakers, war of vengeance, strike out, quarrelers, charge, war of vengeance, killer and killers. Where are these guys? That's there was their cavalry charge being dealt with accordingly. Three quarreler units. Turn them slightly. Ah, crap, they managed to get a couple in behind me. Uh, okay, we're going to turn these guys around. No, just attack. Thogrim, get in here. I'm pretty confident my um, quarrelers can withstand a charge from these guys, but if they're fighting in melee, that means they can't. Attack. I just lost some of my artillery. All right, we're going to slow it down. I need my front line back in order. You guys. Get back here. Thogrim, get back here. Back here. So 
We got our artillery back. They are now going to start putting some fire on those guys. Uh, where's Thulgrim? We need him down here. Actually going to take these guys and shift them over this side. Want those guys dead if I can. Hurry up and get back on your cannons, please. Okay, our iron breakers are shifting over, which is good. Keep those guys moving in. Archers, start taking care of their guys. Archers over that way. Where are theirs? Right over there. Man, they got a lot of hero units here. Pump it into those guys. Need these get those guys down. Oops. Wrong button. Wanted to select those guys. Got some mining charges going in. This should be wicked. Come on, go off. Okay. Don't know why they didn't go off. That was weird.
Got some units coming back, but I think we got this beat. All the, the morale sh crap right now. Just gotta beat these few tougher units. How about you start shooting? Oh, I didn't want to select my artillery. We still want to take out those guys with our artillery. Our corollers are just mopping up. I can go back to just regular speed now. Yeah, it was over. <laughs> Those mining charges are awesome. Just beating up this black orc unit for fun. Besides that one time where their cavalry got into my artillery, this battle went pretty well. You guys seriously stop. You have no hope of catching them. Alright. That's enough beating on orcs for now. I'll see you guys once I leave the battlefield. Alright, so that was pretty good. We lost 171, but they lost a lot more. And more importantly, we now have the Axe of Grimnir. So Thogrim just keeps getting stronger. I like it. And filthy orcs, you will die. There we go. From Beres, move. Right there. Some armor piercing damage, bonus versus large, some melee attack. Uh, army up, keep you down, which is awesome for Thogrim's army because it is expensive with all my iron breakers. Uh, recruitment cost, not too worried about it, I already got my army. And post battle loot is always welcome. Wait. What? The runes are cast. Move the throng. Now we start moving them north again. Double check. Don't need anything in there. Uh, nothing in there. That one could use a was a defensive structure. A little uh, lost my train of thought there for a second. And what else can we put in here? We'll go ahead and throw our barracks in this one. Of course, we're going to get more money. It would be dumb not to. So yeah, that guy was good. Barak Var is good. These guys will probably run, but if they don't, next turn we have them. And then just this Chaos Lord we're still chasing down. By Gragni, this had better be good. Had one army, just making sure I moved him already. Yep, so that's everybody. So we are good to go for this turn. And also for this episode, so thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.